Now, there are actually different ways of looking at your documents. Let's take the 2016 report. It's in your working files and have a look at the different views available. These views are on the view ribbon. And we can see here we have selected the print layout view. We can see the edges of the paper, both the top of the paper, left hand side of the paper. And if we scroll down, we can see the bottom and then where the next page starts. So it's quite a common view to work in, but obviously it uses quite a lot of screen space. If you just want to work in the content, then you might want to work in draft view, where you just see the layout. You don't see where the pages start and begin. You simply get in there and start typing your information. So we can see there, there is a section break. And further down, there is another section break, but you don't see it laid out as a page. So I can just start typing. And we saw how wrapping has worked previously. So that's draft view. We may change into outline view. And that's a little harder to work in, but it's quite useful seeing where the headings are. Web layout, should you be thinking of creating a web page layout for your document? Or the default, which is print layout. You can also activate the navigation pane, which appears here on the left. It's also on the view ribbon. We just come down to navigation pane and tick, and here's the navigation pane. It makes it very easy to see how the pages are working. You can see then if your headings are breaking in the right place. And then I can jump to a page simply by clicking onto this page. I can change the navigation view on the left here. I'm currently looking at what I call thumbnails. I can change into headings. I can see here section A initial findings, summary initial finds. So I can jump to a section within the document by simply clicking on the heading and it takes me there. And then I can edit or delete whatever I want to do. There is a editing review pane. And I can see here there's no comments, no deletions, no moves, no formatting. That really works well when you've got tracking activated. And then there is a search box. So I can search within the document for a particular word, perhaps the word first. And it finds it. This is what we found first. And you can see that here. I might want to search for initial. It does a search and finds that in four places and I can then just click and it will take me to each of the places that it finds the word initial. So this is the navigation pane, helpful for searching, not really for the reviewing unless you are using the trace and track changes. The headings view, so it just shows you each of the headings that are in use and allows you to navigate or the thumbnails view, which I do quite like, quite good for quickly finding your way around the document when you're doing a search. If you don't want the navigation pen at all, you can close it with the cross here, or you can go back to view and take the tick out. Or we activate it here and we turn it off here. So you have the different views. Print layout is the most popular. Draft, quite useful if you're doing a lot of typing, you're just putting a lot of content into your Word document. And then you have the navigation pane for helping you navigate some of the larger documents that you might need to work with.